Yo, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Rebuke All Devils, man. And we got this winter storm, man. Leaves historic snow, dangerous ice, and record low temperatures across the south. Man, let's peep the details, family. Day. Happy yeah. President's Day after Valentine's Day. We have a lot going on today. We welcome you to CBS this morning. We're going to begin with this. A massive winter storm is cutting a treacherous, never a good thing, and freezing path across much of the country this morning. This is Texas. Look at these pictures, which is now in a state of emergency after some areas saw their first snowfall in years and the coldest temperatures in decades. That system is moving into the Midwest and the Northeast covering roads and snow and causing major problems for drivers there. It's affecting more than two-thirds of Americans in this country. Maria Villarreal is in Oklahoma City, where the governor has just activated a National Guard to keep people safe there. Maria, good morning to you. What a mess. Oh, what a mess indeed, Gail. Good morning to you as well. Here in Oklahoma City, it snowed for more than 12 hours straight yesterday. The freezing temperatures combined with the wind chill at times made it feel like it was between 20 and 30 degrees below zero. Let me repeat that, 20 to 30 degrees below zero. Behind me, you can actually see crews are trying to dump snow here at the city's NBA arena. They want to try and clear the streets before another front hits. From this fiery wreck in Oklahoma to whiteout conditions in Arkansas and down to Texas. An unparalleled winter storm targeting southern states unused to a powerful mix of snow, ice, and below freezing temperatures. Cars and trucks providing no match for roads and interstates blanketed with sheets of ice, sending vehicles careening out of control. In Texas, for the first time, all 254 counties in the state are under winter storm warnings. The Lone Star State hasn't seen temperatures like this in over 30 years. Our roads, no matter how much we salt them, are not designed for it. Oklahoma also making history with temperatures below 20 degrees for five days straight, the third time ever in the state's history. For Suzanne Markingo, driving on these roads for work can be a life or death decision. Every time you take that key and you start it up, you take your life in your own hands and you take the public's life in their hands too. The same storm left at least 200,000 without power over the weekend in the Pacific Northwest. The two-day snowfall was the most seen in Seattle in almost 40 years, leaving some residents digging themselves out of more than a foot of snow. It is minus six degrees right now, but it feels like it is minus 25. And the conditions are not expected to get any better here in Oklahoma. In fact, right now they are predicting that temperatures will plummet to records not seen in more than 100 years. Whoa. And man, for y'all down there in the south, man, I say bundle up, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Definitely don't forget to drop your comments down below, man. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Shalom.